Yo, what's good? It's Cartier. Today we're gonna be making a little character with the skin modifier and mix them up. Good little basic tutorial for episode two. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so go ahead and open up Blender and then we're gonna create a new general project. Okay, so we're gonna start off by deleting the cube and then we're gonna add in a plane mesh. Okay, so once you got that plane mesh in, let's go to edit mode and then make sure all the vertices are selected and then click M. And then we're gonna merge these points at the center. This is what we're gonna add the skin modifier to. So in order to do that, we're gonna go back into object mode and then let's add some modifiers. Okay, so go over to the modifiers tab, which is this wrench button over here. And then um, let's add a mirror modifier, a skin modifier, and a subdivision surface modifier and turn that up to three okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into side view so i'm going to click one on my number pad or you could click the y up here on this uh navigation gizmo okay and then i'm going to drag the selection up to about four and a half five meters and this is going to be where our hips start at so once you have that in the place that you want um go ahead and go to edit mode and then we can start extruding our body parts okay so i'm gonna bring out the hips first with e and then i'm gonna do ez bring it down for the legs and then um let's go up and build the torso e z again and then get some arms and then you get another extension and this doesn't have to be perfect because you can always fix where the where the points are later um so don't worry too much about it in this stage we're kind of just getting the the main base down okay so uh click the back on the head and then we're gonna extrude z go to the neck and then extrude again for the top of the head okay and then i like to turn on alt z so that you can kind of see the x-ray view of uh your structure it just makes it a little bit easier when you're moving around vertices to finish up this head let's make a loop cut in the middle so Control r and then select that and then in order to scale with the skin modifier, instead of S, it's control A. So go ahead and click control A, and kind of drag this out to where you want it to be. It's gonna look a little, little funky right now, but it'll be okay. Um, and then do control shift B to add a bevel and then kind of drag that out a little bit. That looks about right. And then I'm just gonna select the two inside vertices and move them in on the x-axis and then again on the y-axis so control a y so i got about the right head shape i'm looking for if you want to make it a little bit more realistic i move this bottom vertice on the y-axis a little bit forwards just to kind of give it a stronger neck and headline um, so that looks about right and then uh, let's just go ahead and play with these points down here to make it kind of look more like how we want our character to look. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit, bring this in, and then bring this in. And let's add some feet down here at the bottom. So I'm going to move around and then go E, Y, bring that out on the Y axis, and then Control A, scale this up, and then scale this back point up as well. And I kind of like this look right here with the oddly shaping kind of cartoony foot. That's kind of how I do my characters. But I can show you how to fix that later um, in the process. So don't worry too much about that. Um, and let's bring this leg in. Careful you don't have any clipping going on. Uh, sometimes I like to add in a knee. Just move that out a little bit. Kind of give it some more structure. Let's scale this up. Um, really, it's up to you how you want to make your character look. So I'll uh, fast forward this portion right here and kind of morph the character into what I want it to look like. And then a helpful tip for the hands when you're making them. Um, if you want to drag this back a little bit, and then I just extrude twice along this line. So you could even add another loop cut down here. Uh, and then same with the head, I just scale up the midpoint, kind of like that. It's a little bit of like a rounded hand. 
Um, if you want more detailed tutorials, there's a lot of great sculpting uh, videos that I can put in the description, but this is just a quick and easy kind of like a mock-up character. Um, and it's similar to the style I use for a lot of my animations. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your character, go back to object mode and then select your entire character and then click shift D. And then I like to move it on the X axis a little bit just so they're not touching. And then click M and then add it to a new collection. So just call this trash. And then you can uncheck this box. That'll just give us a copy in case um, anything goes wrong with the model or if you wanna go back and tweak a little bit with the skin modifier, um, you'll be able to do that without having to restart your whole project. Okay, so now that we have that saved, uh, we can go ahead and go back to our object, uh, our character model, and apply all of these modifiers. And make sure you do that from the top down, um, just so that you get the desired look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shade smooth uh, my character, and I kinda like how that looks already, but uh, down here, I like to bring this foot down a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into sculpt mode, and then I'm going to use the grab tool to bring down the foot a little bit. And that looks fine to me. Also, if you wanna do more intense sculpting, uh, make sure you turn on this mirror uh, on the X axis button up here. And that way you can do like symmetrical edits, you know, to the head and things but I'm gonna stick with how this is for right now. Okay, so now let's give him some clothes. Okay, so first let's start off with this shirt. So if we go into edit mode, um, you can see we have a little too much geometry down here. So I think I'm actually gonna need to decimate the um, character. So go ahead and select your character and then in the modifiers tab, go to decimate and then unsubdivide. And let's just go, let's do that maybe four times, I think. And then, oh, maybe that might be too much. Let's go with, let's go with two times and then apply that. And then if you go to your edit mode, you can see we've got a little less ge geometry we have to deal with. Okay, so uh, now that we have this little bit of geometry, um, we can go ahead and select. So I'm gonna do Alt and then left click until I get a circle, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click hide on that. And then try to find about where, I'm gonna click Alt Z. Okay, and then try to find about where the, the skin is gonna come back on your t-shirt. So if you want a long sleeve, you'd go down here. If you want a short sleeve, you stay up here. So I'm gonna go about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. Um, and then let's do a loop select there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'll select, oh shit. Alt shift. And then let's hide both of those. And then I'm gonna go down here, around the waistline, do Alt Shift, and then hide that. Okay, so now it makes it really easy because all we have to do is click, uh, hover over this body, and then click L to select loop select, and then do Shift D, and then Escape, and then I'm gonna separate this by selection. So now, now we have a new um, T-shirt cutout shape. So that's helpful. All right, and then if you wanna bring back the missing faces, just click Alt-H and that'll bring them all back. Okay, so now let's uh, select our t-shirt and I'm gonna scale it up a little bit just so we can start seeing it. Bring that down. Maybe scale it on the y-axis a little bit. Bring it down. So it gets to about where you want it to fit. Bring it down a little bit, scale it up a little bit more. Okay, and that, that's that's looking pretty good um, for a t-shirt. And then I like to add a solidify modifier 
just to give it a little bit more depth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then um, usually with t-shirts, they have a, a dip in the front. So I'm going to go back into sculpt mode and drag, make sure this mirror is selected. I'm just going to drag this neckline down a little bit just to get a good feel for it. And if you want to, if you want to add some more volume under the arms, you can do that. Kind of just play around, feel it out. I might make this a little bit wider just to give them some more mass and the chest area. Make sure, make sure you're not clipping anywhere. Okay, so that, that looks about right to me. Um, we can always go back and make some more adjustments later, but that looks like a pretty good T to me. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and name this just so we don't get our, our uh, objects confused. So I'm gonna name this T-shirt. Okay, and then while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and name this character. Okay, so now uh, let's make some pants. So I'm gonna show you another way you can make clothing. So uh, for this, we're actually gonna want to apply a subdivision surface modifier just to make it a little bit more smooth. So I'm gonna bring back those two levels that we got rid of. And now you can see we've got a lot of geometry going on down here. So uh, make sure your character is selected and then go to sculpt mode and then scroll all the way down to box mask and then change it to lasso mask. So now I'm just gonna grab, uh, again, make sure your mirror is on. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of hover over where I want the pants to be on the character. Uh, just, just one leg is fine, cause it'll duplicate it. And then I guess that looks pretty good. Might add a little bit more. And then if you want to deselect, it's control and then left click. So you can kind of get rid of a couple of vertices like that. And then let me go down here. Kind of touch this up a little bit. Um, and then you can turn on front faces only as well up here. And that'll help a little bit if you want to make different sizes. Try to take away some of these. But again, it's it's a it's a quick model, so don't stress too much over um, miniature details because you really won't be able to see it that much. Um, and then once you have that mask selected where you would like it, go ahead and click Mask, and then Mask Extract, and then leave all these settings, and then click OK. Uh, and then you can see this is selected again. So I'm gonna go back into Sculpt Mode, and then go over here to the Inflate tool and then make sure that's pretty big and then just kind of click around and that will give you a little bit of weight and kind of expand it out a little bit. And then again, we can add a solidify modifier if you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click solidify and then kind of mess and apply that. Oh. Go ahead and apply the top one and then the bottom one, okay. Uh, go back into sculpt mode. I'm just going to touch this up a little bit. You can kind of shape your pants how you'd like them, uh, but that's that's all up to you. Um, another tip, if you want to make it look a little bit more realistic, I like to make the, uh, the grab tool really small and then kind of just drag in pieces um, piece by piece just kind of give it a little bit of crinkling I think that helps a little bit with the so it, it looks less uniform you can even turn off the um, mirror tool for this if you'd like but that's up to you okay and then for the shoes uh, let's go ahead and click on the character and I'm just gonna do this the same way I did the pants uh, so let's go into lasso mask, make sure front faces only is turned off. And then I'm gonna click control and then select the whole area that we just used to deselect the pants mask. 
And then I'm gonna select the shoes right here. Get a little bit more of that. And then click mask extract. Same process as last time. And then sculpt, inflate. Bring those out a little bit. And now you got some shoes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my material preview. Uh, so I'm gonna go Z and then material preview. Okay, now that we're in material preview, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make some rough colors real quick. So uh, let me click on the skin, go to the materials tab down here, this little circle, and then new. Let's make this like kind of my skin color-ish. All right, and then let's do some pants new let's go with black and then shoes i'll do black as well or you know what let me do i'm gonna do pink I like that okay so in my comments i think it was either on tiktok or youtube for the last video somebody asked uh if we could go over uv mapping so i'm gonna put up your comment right here shout out you um so to go the extra mile, you can always skip this, but um, I'm gonna put a graphic on the t-shirt. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and select the t-shirt, go into uh, edit mode by clicking tab, select all the faces, and then click U, and then smart UV project. Okay, so that's gonna set up our t-shirt for UV wrapping. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up to the top left-hand corner and uh, bring down a new window. Um, and then I'm gonna set this window to UV editor. Okay, and this is all the pieces of our t-shirt. Okay, so now in order to get the graphic onto the t-shirt, we're gonna have to use a image texture. So go ahead and click on the materials tab for this t-shirt we're gonna go new and then next to this base color click this yellow dot and then we're gonna change that to image texture okay and then we're just gonna open up the file for our um the graphic that you want to put on the t-shirt so, so now we've got our graphic loaded in but it's in a terrible placement okay so i'm gonna click the UV editor and then click A to select all and then scale to scale down. And I'm just gonna drag these all to a white space. And then I'm gonna go onto my t-shirt, zoom in a little bit and select all the faces that I want the graphic on. So it's probably about here. Uh, that looks about right, maybe down, maybe down to here. Okay, so once I've got all my faces selected, I'm just going to go ahead and click U again and then Smart UV Project. And then I'm going to select all of these vertices here, rotate them so that it fits the correct way up, and then scale it down. And you can see it's popping up on our t-shirt now. So just let's make sure we got those faces right. Go ahead and grab all these. You can click L to get all the linked vertices. And then kind of position that where we want it on the t-shirt. That looks about right. Okay, so now we've got our graphic on the t-shirt. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or your project doesn't come out the way you like, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Cartier. Uh, and if you have any other ideas for videos, uh, drop them in the comments or uh, you can DM me as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Peace. Hey, I have to